Okay, you guys, so we're we're gonna do a little bit different day. Check it out, because it's a different day. Oh. <laughs> we got visitors. We're gonna pull a really cool clutch of snakes. Uh, if all goes right, we're gonna have some golden child genetic stripe mochinos. So there's mama laying on her eggs. There's our videographer. Yeah, that's Laura, by the way. And uh, we're in the Reptile Zoo. You guys need to go to the uh, Reptile Zoo FV and uh, on Instagram and check it out. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> okay, so this is a, this is a uh, reticulated python. It's actually a special coloration. It's not only is it albino, but it's uh, where, where's the box for huevos? Uh, not only is it an here we go. Not only is it an albino, but it's an albino golden child. She's a little nippy. So she's actually protecting her eggs, as you can see. Whoop, 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 whoop. Take the glass off for me. Okay. So JT, by the way, he's on Instagram too with a with a bio reptile. Part of it, this is where the babies go. So if you're ever looking for them, look at Facebook or Instagram or bio reptile. If you're looking for now this is this should be world's first we got a high probability of it we're looking for a genetic stripe mochino golden child out of this clutch so we're pretty excited about it uh like i said we always like making new stuff and so this is kind of keeps it changed up come on girl so she's 100 percent but the odds are pretty low to be honest so we need a lot of eggs and we need the odds to go with us a little bit come on girl it's funny is she's really a tame snake but She's not being so tame with uh, the idea that I'm going to steal her eggs. So, so she's uh, got a beautiful clutch of eggs, as you can see. Yep, looking really good. Come on, girl. So we're going to so look at that. That's the way we like to see it. So at least we got a good start for those odds. So now the odds are we got 25% will be. So it's really low odds. <laughs> we need a lot of eggs. We need it to line up. So 25% of these will be uh, uh, genetic stripes. And out of that 25%, half of those will be golden child genetic stripes. So, so really we got a 12.5%. And 12.5%, what does that come to? One out of how many? So, one out of eight. There we go. We got a mathematician over there, luckily. Because uh, my brain's not awake yet. And don't ask me how my brain is not awake, because if you're following me on Instagram, You'd know I've been up all night for two two nights in a row, and last night I got a night's sleep because we had a power outage on our block, and they had to dig up the street behind us and everything else. And the, the, the power was on, but they was they kept turning it off, so I had to come in in the middle of the night, light up the generators to keep our eggs going. So hopefully everything will go well there. So we'll have a better idea in a couple more days because we did find them the first time kind of cold, but we got it all organized and ran ran everything just right. So. So let's see here. So this girl, this girl looks like she gave us about 28 eggs, but we'll see how many there really are. What's your guys' guess? Come on, comment below. Tell us what you think. If you were this girl, would you bite me? Comment below, yes or no. I know you would. <laughs> but she's not, she's starting to figure out that I'm not gonna attack her or anything. So she's acting, but she's still kind of like a little confused. This is actually her first clutch ever. Uh, so. Let me see. Anybody have any questions? Nope. Oh, you guys all want to see me get bit, huh? <laughs> Everybody on YouTube does. <laughs> you guys, are you just subscribing just to see if I get bit? You guys can Google crazy guy with snake attacking laughing and you'll find me getting bit by a giant snake. So let's see Are the shells soft? The shells are soft. So there we go. We had our first question. And the reason why the shells are soft is because if they were hard, they, if something attacked the snake, they'd break. The other, the other funny part is everybody always asks about why the eggs are glued together. Well, they're glued together because they were, they were designed that way because eggs, python eggs, really reptile eggs in general, can't roll around after they start the incubation uh, process because the embryo would flip over and drown. So. So what they literally have is a is a natural fluid that when it when it comes out it's like a lubricant when she's laying her eggs because these big eggs come out of a very small hole. I'll show you. So she's back. Those eggs come out of that little tiny hole right there. So that's a lot of work. I guess moms would have to be able to explain that for us more. But so anyway, so these eggs come out and they're kind of they're they're smooth 
and slick and then when they dry they turn into like leather and the leather actually you can see where they're actually glued together they actually tear the, I have to tear the egg slightly and it leaves a little that has actually paper from below from the paper but it actually glues to them so let's see here so I gotta be a little careful because you can tear the eggs uh, the idea is to not actually tear but just a very very surface of the glue off and there we go so now if you watch if you watch me closely I'm being really careful not to flip the eggs over because Flipping the eggs over would mess them up because they've already been, they laid, she laid them last night. And uh, so we want to keep them upright, everything in the right position so we don't have any issues. And so when I tear them off, I always re, re put them the direction that they were laying in the first place. If they were in the wild, how would they hatch? Well, in the wild, they would, the truth is, in the wild, they would all not, they wouldn't all hatch. So in the wild, we'd have ideal conditions. You'd have it raining every day, keeping the humidity up. And, but even then in the wild, the percentage, the reason why it's like an insect, insects lay a ton of eggs, right? They, they, uh, frogs lay a ton of eggs. So, but elephants, what do they have? They only have one baby every couple of years. Because guess why? Because elephants don't have a lot of predators. So they're up in the top of the food chain. Unfortunately, these little baby snakes are in the very bottom of the food chain. Uh, you got alligators eat them. You got you got literally fish that can eat them. You got so many animals that can eat them that they have a hard time even if they hatch. So the incubation the incubation on a, on a reticulated python is one of the longest incubations in the world. It's the second longest incubation for an egg on a, on a, on, a, on, a, on a reptile. Uh, well, that's not actually true because in a snake. Uh, their monitors are long incubation too, but monitors don't don't take care of their eggs. All they do is lay them and leave. And uh, unlike these guys, you know they actually stay on the eggs the whole time. And it takes these eggs will take about 90 days to hatch, 84 days. And uh, the only snake that I know that's longer is a African rock python. They can take 100 days to hatch. And uh, <clears throat> So those longer, longer the egg takes to hatch, the more likely they are to die because the temperature needs to be longer, perfect and longer uh, for a longer time. So that's one of the reasons why these snakes have never been found in the Everglades reproducing because there's no, the temperature, these eggs are literally, they're only twice as, take twice as long to hatch in a Burmese python, but they're literally probably five times harder to hatch than a Burmese python. A Permese python egg will hatch in 54 days. These are 84 days. So you got not only 30 more days to take care of them, but they're literally harder to take care of. And you lose them. And you, so anyway, so a lot of them don't make it. And uh, luckily, it, uh, the reason why I take them away from mom is that they've got a lot better opportunity. And I, they, because we have a controlled incubator, that thing that I was staying up all night to keep going. And uh, that keeps the temperature really consistent. We got them in an enclosed box like this. Where's the glass? So what we do is to hold the humidity up. How many of these will make it? Do you think? Uh, probably like probably 80 to 90 percent. Probably more like 95 percent, honestly, because when the, when the clutch is almost all good, we only had one infertile egg in there. Uh, the, the the amount that make it are much higher, and so you know, providing everything goes right, we you know we should be able to hatch. How many we got? Did you guys guess how many we got? Anybody out there guess how many we got? Nope. Let's see here. I'll tell you how many we got. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty. Ooh, got more than I thought. Thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So, wow. Really good clutch. So what's? Come on. How many? So we have a possibility of how many here? What was it? It's like a nine one and eight. One and eight. One and eight. So that's, that's not bad. There's probably going to be around uh, four of them that hatch out the way you want. So we're hoping to get two to four, and if we get more than that, we'll be we'll be happy no matter what we get, as long as they hatch. But we'll be really happy if we get two or three of those special ones that we're looking for. So I still don't think it's one and eight, but that's okay. I haven't done the math. Is the math correct? Because remember. It's 25% divided by 2 is 12%. What's 12 times 8? 96. So, so there you go. So it's, so it's just under 1 and 8, right? 
-hmm. So one and nine, or so one and nine, well, one and nine roughly. So there we go. So there's an awesome clutch, JT. You want to put that away? Yes, and guess what, guys? It's going to be a double hitter slash quadruple hitter because we have one snake trying to lay right now. We have another snake we're going to pull in just one minute. I hope you guys are subscribing. Hope you're enjoying it. Check out the Reptile Zoo if you're ever in California. Come down and visit us, right? Woo! Yeah! Living the dream, guys. Take care.